Hello, welcome to the DOD official mail room of Charter Conductor Locomotive Designs Party. Check it out. All right, here what we got. All right, I'm just gonna throw a quick idea at you. All right, we're working on a track. I'm gonna show you a traction motor blower and uh, a traction motor axle and uh, some of my sketches. Uh, all right. <laughs> This is your tandem axle, wheel axle, box assembly with friction bearings. All right. Uh, obviously, you, you could put the gear here and then the traction motor up there. And these are the wheels and journal boxes, okay? So, journals are kind of okay. You know, just think that it's a bearing wrapped around it and whatever. But my idea was, is to put the traction motor in the... Um, Instead of a traction motor blower, like this, which is a fan, separate fan, um, I wanted to do uh, a radiator core, like this one, um, but around that part, this would be the radiator core, and then it would have had a fan shroud, um, and a liner on the traction motor right here. This liner has a water port in here, which would be good for the water and the radiator. And then if you had to, what you need to do when you remove a truck is freeze the bearings and the community, fuse the community, freeze the communicator and the stator so you can take out, say, so, so you can repair the traction motor. So this would be a good, um, liquid nitrogen passage for that ap ap amplitude and, uh, To it's on the next page so this is you want to know where my invention then and we want to put the traction motor here and then we want to do the little box the radiator wrapped around it with the fan shroud um right here and then the traction motor is in the center all on one axle with the radiator core and liner and then um this would actually be the fan shroud instead of a gear. But for us, think in mind, keeping it the same, the traction motor is actually set apart from the axle, so you still have one axle and what, how it's done nowadays. And the traction motor coupled to the axle and then ran by gear. Um, I have not figured out how to do it all in one, one axle. But I think that's what we're going to try here. And then this is my invention questionnaire. If you want to know where I get my buy, where I come from with these. It's usually from other drawings. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, your typical axle. All right, we've seen this. We've seen the traction motor blower. We've seen the traction motor drive to the drive shaft. And this is the commuter and the stator ring. And then they would have a liner around that, which is fillable with nitric or water and nitrogen, which doesn't tamper with that. Okay, so what we got here is, uh, let's pull this out. We have your... It's kind of hard when I flip these, but it works when I'm drawing it. Got your wheel journal, your truck, your 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 wheel, and then this would be the body of your traction motor, which is and then this side over here. So you have this big traction motor, and then. Um, the other wheel over here with a wheel journal and then a gear matching it to the traction motor now what if we wanted to alter that a little bit what we got is a uh, all right there's four leads that run to the locomotive or uh, to the traction gear so what we did is we moved one armature here this turns a gear
in terms of gear. All right, can I peel this down? All right. Traction motor here. Turns the gear. Then it says you got your positive reverse on the left side. The left, uh, this uh, left bank of the notebook left, left C. Reverse and positive and negative. And uh, one spins the armature. It's on a free roading bearing, bearing and it connects the wheel. And then the wheel turns the. Turns the traction motor. And on the other end. Where is this? On the other end, you have the same thing. A bearing, and then like a large gear wheel with a small wheel. It shows the rotation, and then a rotation. So you have your positive and negative leads over here, turning you counterclockwise in the reverse. And then the last position, which I showed you, was uh, was um, forward, one's reverse, and then you have, then it connects to this, which is like, uh, over here you'd have your forward and reverse, over here, pulling that out, take it so now we're free we're riding on one gear over here in a large gear turning and then this could be a positive negative lead right and then sizing the commutator which is the general axle and then putting back back here to the gear which could be a fan belt assess assembly and then what I do is I roll it like I try to unroll it and so but it's kind of folded, it's journaled. All right, so you'd have from here to here, your back with your traction motor. And your traction motor has, where is it? I'm sorry, I'm working backwards, it's upside down. Um, no wonder I can't really screw it. Me, like. All right, all right. All right, then you have over here your, uh, right, we have over here, which matches up to here, your reverse positive negative, a uh, free floating bearing with one armature turning the gear to the left, and then a free riding bearings, and then spline bearings turning the stator, and then the stator is back here. This is, notice how the line, line's extended back through here. To the other side, which is the same on the same side, but with an out with the op with the gear over here now rotating these different directions, and then you'd have your reverse, reverse, and then flip, flip for the forward. So now we're in the middle of the stator. Um, over here would be the wheel with a wheel journal box and here over here is a wheel journal box with a stator and then the stator is filled with where's that at i'll flip those back was it back the way i had it and then, and then then you come to this half page right here where it's done. If this was split down the middle, this is what you get. You get a wheel journal wheel, your rotor armature, which turns left and forward or reverse. And because we went from side to side, it's the same on the side, the same through the middle. So this is half version, wheel journal, track, truck to wheel, um, armature towards the left or for a reverse, um, the free spin with a free floating with a small gear, large gear, 
Um, I guess that should have been the other way around. But uh, you'd have uh, what we got in the middle is your commutator ring, which is number 41. And then 21 or 46 would be your stator right here. And then your liners, your radiator fin core, your radiator fin core right here on this part. And then I guess we're on the next flip. Sorry about my bad hanging ship. Liner to freeze the stator port with a liner and then followed by a radiator core. Water in the meantime, radiator core. And then one of these wheels, they can be a fan blade, like, uh, so. That's basically a traction motor assembly. You got your wheel journal, your wheel, your uh, positive negative connections to the traction motor. And then you have, uh, then in the middle you have the, the traction motor right there noted in layers so we'll keep turning free rotation splines wheel bearings these were bearings right here too so yeah and then they roll well uh, my whole idea is to drive put the traction motor on a cup on the uh on the axle with the liner and the radiator and the fan all on one axle without having to do um a hold on side but that's okay because that makes it a little easier like you can see the shroud there covering up the gear um and then using half the pipe as a mounting 18 and 18 mounting on there is a pretty decent way i will that's not bad, but like if you could ever do it on one gear, well, let's just do this one. But this is basically so it ain't uh it ain't what I thought it would be, but at least it's sort of an idea of a traction motor and how it goes from positive to negative reverse and uh so you'd have two cables and then this is the other side the wheel journal tags and then to the traction motor so enjoy <laughs> 